there's a, a presentation going on at the clinical cancer meetings this weekend that talks about instead of looking at cancer by the organ that's involved, this is breast cancer, this is lung cancer, this is colon cancer, classifying cancers by the mutations, by the, by the genetics. Is, is that, Eric, where, where we're headed? Of course. The idea that the relevant thing is what tissue we're talking about, whether it's a breast or a prostate or a lung, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about of the circuits in the cell. You think about a cell has circuitry, different kinds of pathways for sending signals. You want to know what's broken. So this melanoma, the can skin cancer I was talking about before, there's a mutation in a gene called BRAF in melanoma. Well, golly, that mutation also occurs in a brain cancer, in a blood cancer, and in some other cancers. It may be more sensible to think about cancers that have a mutation and therefore a vulnerability in that pathway, and then other pathways. So on and on, we're going to be, so you could say, oh, it's horrible. We got all these anatomical types, and then we're going to subdivide them and subdivide them. But at the same time, we're unifying them, because we're seeing that there's a finite number of relevant pathways. We don't know how many yet, but it's going to be a limited number. Maybe it'll be 100 pathways that really matter. And as we begin to understand when a cell has a mutation in this pathway that lets it be a cancer, what are the Achilles heels that it acquires by having that mutation? And we're going to begin to make a chart on the wall of pathway number 72 gives rise to these Achilles heels. There are drugs for it. And I think, if you want to think about the future, there will come a point when patient comes in, sequence the cancer, mm -hmm. and you're going to look up and say, aha, following three pathways seem to be used in this cancer. We know agents that have a good therapeutic window here that are very effective, specific against the cancer, and pretty harmless against normal cells. We're going to know how to combine them. Now, what I've got to be careful about is to say that's not happening next quarter, and it's not happening next five years. It is if we play our cards right and we're willing to invest, happening for our children by the time they might need them but as it adults. Start to happen. It it'll happen. start to happen. Start no, 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 look. Right. It'll happen. You'll see, you'll see bits of it. It'll get better and better and better. Mm -hmm. But I think we have to be totally straight about saying that the full return on this picture, what everybody thinks is what they, the end state, that cancer becomes a chronic treatable condition, don't start measuring that in the couple year thing. Right. This is a long <laughs> march to get there. But it is a great goal to get there. It is like curing infectious disease has been in the first world. Mm -hmm. And we have to stay that course. And we're doing it for our children. 